Okay, welcome into Sunday sermon. Uh, Maskuli, can you bring the book over, please? Kindly, <laughs> kindly, sir. We have to yeah. start Sunday sermon. It is a Sunday. Well, sometimes we do Sunday sermon. It's not a Sunday. But we, 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 we're supposed to publish them on Sunday, but yeah. sometimes technical things happen, happen. You know, or don't happen, or something like that. Uh, uh, this is Maskuli. He speaks to you. Uh, he's of the Amakosa culture. And uh, he speaks uh, closer. And so, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm of the uh, 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 English speaking African culture that ended up in North America. And so we read from this book from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. called The United Compensatory Code System Concept. Oh, uh, maybe charged because the data is bad. You know okay. that well, usually, I, I'll, I'll keep on going. It's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of white supremacy, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. calls uh, uh, basically, well, victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has, a, uh, I say, identified as white supremacy. supremacy. So this is the original 1984 published edition of the book. And we read out of this book. Uh, now, so I guess you better tell the people. Oh, lima di lima di paling unis di negeri Fulan Suni ya. Ikan malah lima di tadi ya. The United Independent Computer Code System Concept. The textbook yang kita inga, yang kita cerita, yang kita inca for amal kaba, oban jilul, white supremacy bans. Now, uh, because it's the original book and the uh, the font is big enough, I don't need to put on my reading glasses. Yay. Yeah. Now, Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. Uh, identifies uh, basically nine areas of human activity. There's uh, economics. Education, Infundo. entertainment, Uzunabo. labor, Sebenzo. law, Umteto. politics, which he defines as uh, people relations, uh, that's a long, that's a long area, uh, religion, sex, and war counter war. Now, Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr., uh, well, he's very much alive. He's 93 years old. He started this uh, book actually in 1957. While he was a part of the Korean conflict, uh, over there. he was over there in Korea. So this came out in 1984. The reason why I mentioned that he's still very much alive because every Tuesday he uh, he transmits over the internet. Uh, the website is uh, uh, www.producejustice.com um now so now but when he brought when he transmits every tuesday he does the, he, he doesn't deal with every all the nine areas the area he doesn't deal with is war counter war I would say for obvious reasons, but since you, since you, don't have, oh, by the way, if you need the book, uh, then so you can find out why he doesn't do the war counter war, then yeah. you can get the book by going to producejustice.com and see how you can yeah. get the book. But we here at La Hotel House. In uh, Dimbaza, uh, Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. Oh, 
We will deal with war counter war. <laughs> In fact, but the area we don't deal with is sex. So, uh, and to prove it to you, uh, we're going to deal with the area nine uh, war counter war one part of it. Now, usually I pick the areas. Or the reading for the day. So I'll still do that. <laughs> Maybe one of these days we let Mr. Cloudy pick an area. Who knows? But the area I picked today is because uh, we have something very current in the in the news that uh, relates to this, I believe. So in the on page 207 we pay by the 207 uh, there's, there's a, well the way it's broken up you have a, he has a, a headline if you will or whatever you want to call it and then he has explanations under there so we're going to deal with this one today <laughs> and then we're going to go off and talk about current events. And then So he says, or he writes, do not assume that those white persons who fight and or kill one another are not racist or white supremacists. Or his reasons or explanations are, are thus. Yeah. I, I like to say of old English words sometimes. Okay. Some white people who practice white supremacy racism. Sometimes have great disagreements. They have great disagreements on how white supremacy should or should not be practiced. When white people who practice white supremacy have great disagreements among themselves about how white supremacy should or should not be practiced. They sometimes fight and or kill each other on a massive scale. I mean, just pause here and explain something. Mr. Neely Foods Jr. says there's only three categories of race in, in this context. We, we know everybody's of the human race, but I mean, three categories in this context that he's talking. There's non-white people. White people. And white supremacists. That's it, three, that's all. Boop, 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 boop. That's it. Okay. It is, however, incorrect to think that these fights are major wars. They are, in truth, small and large battles. Battles are small wars that are part of a major war. In the known universe, there is only one major war. In 
That war is sometimes called the race war. Those white persons who practice racism, which is white supremacy, against, against non-white people of the known universe, sometimes fight major battles among themselves at the same time that they are conducting the war. The war meaning race war. Against non-white people. The major, oh, I'm sorry, the reason that white supremacist racists sometimes fight major battles among themselves while fighting the war is to maintain supremacy over non-white people. Is because some white supremacists seek to gain more benefits. From, from the practice of white supremacy than other white supremacists. Any battles that take place between white supremacists during the race war or the war to maintain white supremacy are always conducted in such a manner as to ensure that non-white people remain subject to white supremacy. Before, during, and after battles. Now, how does this relate to uh, current events? Remember, this is Sunday sermon, so we, we go to the text and then we try to read. Well, sometimes we just read the text and just keep on going. Yeah. I mean, just that would be it. But now we, we have a, a situation that, that is punctuated here in Southern Africa. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the 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 stuff that's happening with the where 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 was that whatever the state up there near near Russia and Europe yeah. and the UU and all that stuff. Yeah, as it is, in those things, again, ah, by my Europe, by my Russia, as it is, again, in those things, again, up, please wait a little. I'm talking about something different. Let me explain. This book was gifted to me from uh, uh, Dr. James Kanye, my, my, my brother. In the, in the United States. And it was gifted to me, and I brought it to Southern Africa. And I got it bound uh, in a hardcover. Because the original is the soft cover. And I had it bound at Lovedale Press. Lovedale Press is in Alice, it still exists. In the Eastern Cape. 
It's with Fort Hare, is that? You can say Fort. And, and Lovedale College. Yeah, Lovedale College. And during the uh, bad old days of apartheid, which seemed to never have ended, actually. Sorry, little editorial comment. They they published a lot of uh, 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 tracks and stuff like that. They associate with the ANC, African National Con yeah. Con Congress. But they publish is into is African National Congress, So, but in this book that I bound, I had some a white a piece of paper. So I wrote on it. Now, when you read a book, things come to mind, and um, to tell you the truth. You know, when I was doing all this stuff, well, I'm always doing this sort of stuff. I'm sort of like a, a, a an academic. I'm not really an academic. But I'm like a street academic. Now, what happens in academia? Yeah, all kinds of theories and, and, and books and stuff like that. And then when you're supposed to come along and improve on them or prove them right or wrong or fill what we call fill in the blanks. So what I determined from Mr. Neely Filler Jr.'s book, The United Independent Compensatory Co-System Concept, the Union Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. This system is actually is is a system. It's a the most important word is a system of, of, of white supremacy. But the most important word in that sentence is that it's a system. And anybody can, as we say in the modern world, will game the system. Now, I always say it's a system of Anglo racist uh, or racism, racist white supremacy. Meaning that it was the Anglo mind that came up with this system. So that's the first mind that came up with this system. They put the system in place. Or I should say they put a system in place and they kept on developing the system. Nobody else was really interested in the system. To give you a, southern, a South African context for this, the system of apartheid was, was first introduced to South Africa from two guys from England that was at Stellenbosch University. Stellenbosch University. Over there in the Cape Town area, Western Cape, the Cape Town area. Well, it's outside of Cape Town. Very famous. A lot of wine. They grow a lot of wine there and stuff like that. But when they came up with the system, they tried to introduce it to the Boers. The boys, they, ah, the boys weren't interested in it at all. <laughs> but they kept on going, you know. Now, I insist that though it was a system of Anglo racist white supremacy, in modern times, the Anglos are always. The uh, uh the most ben they benefit the most from the system. Remember, they benefit the most from the system. But anybody can participate in the system. You get a system of say Chinese racist white supremacy. Or the system of 
Indian racist white supremacy. The system of Korean racist white supremacy. Or the system of African racist white supremacy. The system of American racist white supremacy. System of Spanish racist white supremacy. The system can accommodate Arab racist white supremacy. Check this out. It could be a system of black racist white supremacy. I know I said African already. But, you know, there's there's Africans that are all over there, what they call the diaspora. And some of them use this system, system of racist white supremacy. To, we use a big word right now, to aggrandize themselves. Because they want the benefits that they see that the Anglos have had throughout the centuries. We have such a situation today. Just, uh, was it this week, last week? I get well, earlier this week. Uh, on Wednesday, on a Wednesday. There was a big plane, the Boeing 70, what else big, big, big plane? Holds a lot of people. Boeing 707, what else? Things like that. 747, I don't know, what are those numbers? Flew into Southern Africa. Yeah, Africa, South Africa. Fact flew into the Eastern Cape where we are right now. Yeah, yeah, so figure like Eastern Cape up you. Not far from here. Not good. In fact, we, we if we were Quezon people, we could we could actually run and get to it right away. Yeah, if If we had those genes, because they just yeah. they're some bad people. They they'd yeah. be hunting down lions for days and the lion get tired, they beat up on the lion, you know. <laughs> In a place, place close to uh, uh, Bishu, or uh, uh, close, uh, close to uh, King Williamstown. We now we preach on the King Williamstown. What, what's the what's what's the what's the indigenous what's what's the or talk this name for? Uh, what's yeah, it? Yeah, the 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 name of the place. I mean, what, what's King's name now? The King. Uh, the King. The King. The King. The King. Okay, yeah. yeah. Close to that. What's the now? Where did they land this plane? They land the plane. It's uh, to a plane to 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 a. Is it the the place was a base, but now it's having the what is the the place where the the, the planes are flowing in? Okay, they, they, it was a, it was a military base. Yeah, but now there was, and they had they had a little airstrip. There's an airstrip there. They flew there on the airstrip. But here's the trick. Yeah, here's the system. Uh, 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 that's some well uh, for the UAE, the United yeah. Arab Emirates. Exactly. They, of, uh, of, of, of a rich guy from that. From yeah. that country. From that country, yeah. Who benefits from oil and so they get yeah. a lot of this. He built a thing. He also built He built the air the airstrip bigger to accommodate yeah. a big airplane. Yeah, exactly. And he flew and where he flew that. Like five hundred people. <laughs> yeah, five hundred passengers. That way, not South Africans. Oh, I forgot to say. Mm. His friends, his 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 guests. Yeah. This thing it's uh, related like Guptas. You remember all the story? Oh, the Guptas, Gupta, the, the Indian see, guys that, yeah. that they, they landed a plane on a military Gupta, base someplace. Yeah. But now it's you see it was the other president back there. But uh, now Zuma. Zuma, yeah. But now it's uh, President Ramaphosa. Sir but Ramaphosa. Now it's President Ramaphosa. But the same thing oh. happens in Eastern Cape. You see, but we we never had it on news. We, okay, we never on, had it on, on TV. SABC so, didn't. Hold on, hold on, just. Bear with me on this. Okay. Might take some time. Okay. Is this the same Sir Ramaphosa that organized the miners and then held the microphone for Madiba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then He's became the yeah, then became the what the head of uh, all the McDonald's in, in, in Southern yeah, Africa yeah. and made a whole lot of money. Yeah. And then he became deputy something of what, what deputy president or something like that? Yeah. Under Zuma? Yeah. And then when the miners were striking in Maracana. Boom, boom, boom. Made a phone call, boom, 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 and told 
the police to shoot those miners down, even though the miners and the police were coming to uh, uh, an agreement? Yeah, agreement yeah. That same guy. The same guy, yeah. He allowed these 500 UAE, United Arab Emirates or Arabs, to come into the country without any... You see? Looking? You see, because we, 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 because that thing is privately owned by him, maybe. But he got no access to land a plane there. You see, you land a plane to a private thing, but the government, what about the government? Because, you see, they can, it means they can put the army there, their own army, and then they can, like, okay. go wherever. You see, 500 people. Okay, so this 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 plane, like if I fly into South Africa, yeah. I can't fly into, you know, we have a little airstrip here in Baza. I can't just fly into to Baza. Mm -hmm. I have to go to Cape Town or... or, to, or East or, London. Or, 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 no, or no, PE. not even East London. PE. I think only, I don't even think PE, I'm not sure if PE, but, but Oliver Tambo Airport in yeah, Johannesburg, I think maybe... Durban has the airport. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to fly into them? Because they have immigration there. They have to stand exactly to, to, to verify everything. Is it? You these people because, flew because in they, without any because statement. Because they got a lodge also because the 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 the, 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 the news they don't take. They they got lodge. The guy got lodge. He's only a lodge. Oh, he he has a, a accommodation for his five hundred mm -hmm. friends. Just like when the Guptas flew in and out. Exactly. With, it and nobody can look sense. at the airplane to find if they, if they went to the diamond mines and got some diamonds. It, it doesn't make sense because they disrespect our kings because the kings own the land. Politicians, they don't own any land. You see, when they do that, so it means they are disrespecting our kings. You see, whatever that happens is going to be our king's problems because we're going to ask our kings, how did you let that happen? You see? Well, I don't know. My oh. mind is that maybe I'm wrong. I know we done mm. le left out the the, yeah. the, the, the translations. Exactly. Sorry for you, closer speaking people, yeah. but we're, it's heated now. Oh, it's it's it's, <laughs> it's on now. But I hate to I hate to bring up be the uh, yeah. the angel advocate. Yeah. But aren't some kings also mm. members of parliament? Yeah, some of the kings are. Some kings are the part of, of the politics. Of the politics, a part of the government. politics, but I don't understand a king and some kings there in church, and like uh, it's a controversial thing. Okay, yeah. wait a second. So, a king who is supposed to be in charge, uh, who's supposed to be a traditional leader, if you will, yeah. and you have traditional custodian, yeah. custodian. custodian sorry, yeah. custodian of the land, also of the land, yeah. but they also have uh, traditional ways, religion, traditional ways of government. They are now uh, putting one foot in government, or 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 or, 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 or I don't know, Politics or, uh, 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 or what do you call that? Uh, missionary kind of people, yeah. the, the the people that brought, brought Jesus and all that people here. Mm -hmm. Then he got another foot in the traditional people in the traditional world. Mm -hmm. That means their legs are wide open. Mm -hmm. So somebody like the Arabs or, or the Gupas can come and just kick them right in the, in, 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 in the scrotum. And it must hurt. Scrotum. It must hurt being a tradition a a, 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 a chief. Woo! And since they can get kicked in the scrotum, now they allow you, the Eastern Cape, the people, to now get kicked in the scrotum by just landing anything and do whatever the hoo-ha. Hoo-ha, hey. Hoo-ha. You see how racism, white supremacy works? Yeah. Or the system works? The system. What's it in, what's it in place? If you get enough influence, enough money, Money. I remember this money is fake. It all comes from. Uh, it's printed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like crypto because crypto got a ledger. This money. Well, ledger. You, well, well. Bitcoin has a ledger. Yeah, a lot of ledger. cryptos are still centralized, yeah, so I don't know what that's uh, about. What I said because it's Bitcoin because uh, these are also centralized on, on the this thing. What is this thing? Well, the banks want to be a centralized thing. But, but, but yeah. Ethereum, a bunch of people want to be centralized. Yeah. But Bitcoin is not centralized. But, but it's not, but the it's, this thing also it's not really about Bitcoin. Yeah. All I'm trying to say or question oh, sure. is how do you let somebody come into your country? You don't know what they're bringing, what they're taking out. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How is that possible? It doesn't make sense. I'm going to answer how it's possible. How? Through the system of racist... White supremacy, the system. That's it for this Sunday sermon.
join us next week. Or actually, next week is the end of the month. So what we do, we go through the Word Guide. Well, we'll explain. We'll explain it next time. Talk to you later. All right. So, by the way, this message is Clothing. Uh, this is me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. We let you know what we only suspect.